Come on. Right, right, next question then. Uh, do you think that Frank Warren's shoulder roll it comes out whenever he's under pressure with a question? For example, the other night, they put it on him about Joe Joyce against Dubois, and Frank kept doing that, didn't he? You know, his shoulder roll. Now, I think personally, he makes Archie Moore look like a journeyman, doesn't he? <laughs> do, do, do that again for us. I didn't see He's like that, and he does that, doesn't he? You know, and he seems to be under pressure. What, a bit like Norman Wisdom? Yeah, do you know when you and... Yeah. yeah. Dennis, you know when you and Frank Warren flipped that coin for 50 grand? Yeah. But he was doing shoulder roll. <laughs> no, he was, just, he was just piking in my eyes all the time. He, he and bike, seeing if I were blinking. He was on a bike. Yeah. Oh, and like, I'd, I'd listen, I'd flick a coin with him today and still do, I'd still flick a coin with Frank because uh, that's where I am and Frank's the same and I admire him for it. Even though I don't like some of his antics, but I do respect him mm. as a promoter. He's done, he's done some fantastic things, even though I don't like some of the things he's, he's done with me, but he's a fantastic promoter and I do respect him, but I don't mean to say I like some of the antics he gets up to. Yeah, you always seem to respect Frank whenever we talk about him, Dennis, don't you? I do, I don't like some of the things he's done, but I, res <laughs> but, but I respect him, if it makes sense, because he's, he's been a fantastic promoter, what can I say? If I was saying he was a shy promoter, I'd make myself look stupid. Yeah, he's always there, isn't he? He's always it, Max. Absolutely. Uh, and do you think Joyce against the bar is a good fight, Dennis? Fantastic fight. I'd pay for it. I'd pay for it. For Joyce? Yeah. I'd pay for it. I'd pay for it. No problem. All right. Uh, Two seconds. Uh, uh, we can do another walk -out. What fights you want to see in 2020, then? Uh, John Daly and Nick yeah. Firth. <laughs> Because <laughs> they've both got a tile show. I'm off now. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. You'll end up looking at the ceiling. Don't worry about that. Brie. He, 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 he needs, he's he, an art he, he needs his grout digging out. <laughs> what did you think to David Adelaide's debut of the night? Remember who you nearly signed in, in yeah, Bulgaria? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a quality kid. Quality kid, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he's got every chance he'll always win everything. You go up way him, won't he? He can win a, a version of world title. Him and Yui used to have some great spars. Mm -hmm. Don't forget Yui had fought for a world title by then, and yeah, that yeah. kid had not made his debut. Yeah. And he so, was holding his own with Yui. Yep. Uh, like I just said, what do you think's a great fight in 2020? Yeah, uh, give me some ideas, Russ. Uh, obviously, we've uh, spoke about. Obviously, we, I'd like to see Joshua versus uh, Tyson Fury. Fury. Yeah, I think Canelo, Billy Joe. Yeah, I think that's a great fight. Uh, I think them two. I think Joshua. Yeah, I know Tyson's uh, going to fight um, Deontay, but I think Joshua versus Tyson or Deontay is they'd be great fights for us. Uh, to see, so them's the two I'd like, and Billy Joe, who's, who's a talent, he needs to be fighting the big names like Alvarez now. Because Billy, if anybody can beat Alvarez, Billy can. Yeah. Uh, do you think Josh Whale against Josh Warrington is a good fight, Dennis? In yes, June it'll... this year, after the it's February a, show. Terrible, I, think. I think it'd be just a tear up, and people will, will write to uh, Josh off, but he's found another. He's never fought anybody like Josh who will just put his chin on his chest and um, he'll, be, um, he'll be an outsider. But like yeah. I said, Carl Thompson versus David A, he were a rank outsider. He got bashed up first two or three rounds and I, then I look what he did. Gallard made Warrington look very... He did. Kid Gallard uh, had, had got in a winning position yeah. against Josh and who I, I really like Josh. And I think he's done a fantastic job but Kid Gallard had got him beat. Yeah, and, yeah. and in the last three rounds, I don't know what they said in the corner, but I think they were just trying to nick the fight. Underestimating that. Yeah. And I think if he'd have gone for it for the last three rounds, he wins the fight. So, um, but Josh, I can't know what Josh has done. He's fantastic, and he's got a great disposition inside and outside the ring. I love watching him. He's got a great style, but he's beatable. Yeah. And I'm not saying Josh is going to beat him, but I think he'll give him a tough fight. And I'm, I'm not saying. He'd a good tear up that. I think it'll be a tear up, but I don't think you can discount Josh Whale against Josh mm. Warrington. What do you think to Nick Manners and Steve Wood dismissing it as a fight for Well, somewhere? they're going to say that, but you know, when I had you know, like Clinton Woods and people calling us out, when you get up to the top of the tree, like Josh is, Josh Warrington, then people's going to call you out because they yeah. want a shot at your title. So, so they're, they're that's like what we're doing. Negative, aren't they? Well, yeah, but look, I've, I've had 
I've been at Top at Tree with Ricky Arton and I've done it all myself. I've, I've actually promoted the fights. I haven't had to go and, and uh, go to Frank or Eddie. I've promoted them all myself. So, but I do. Yeah, of course they're going to sell it. Dismiss, but you know if it sells well and it's yeah. going to be a good fight and the mm. people want to see it, why not? And it's it's only like uh, it's, it's putting the ingredients and the chemistry together. Josh Whale and Josh Warrington's a great local fight, domestic fight. And uh, if I can get Josh uh, Whale another uh, good win, why shouldn't we be able to? He's got to and it's all right saying, can, oh, he's got to fight him. Well, Josh, Josh is an age now where he don't, why, why is he going to fight these, up, these young kids who's up and coming? He's already been there around the block. And just because he's got, he's got a few losses on his record when he's fought away from home, that they not you can't really look at a lot of them losses. He's number three, it's still a number two or three in Europe in the super bantamweight. So you know he's there on credibility. And, I, and when I went over to the IBF a year or so ago, I got him rated at number twelve in the uh, IBF, something like that. So he's been in the top twelve and fifteen in in in, in recent past. So you know why why is he not that credible? I've been involved with. Fires that's even less credible. Like I said, you got Alvarez versus Matthew Atten at the time. Atten went 15, uh, went 12 rounds with uh, Alvarez. So, you know. Yeah. Just one it's, thing he uh, said, it's like Garth Brooks when he disrespected Chef United at the beginning of the season, said that they go straight back down. But I, on, live on BBC when he said Sheffield United, they go straight back down, they'll end up with about two or three points. This is for Garth Brooks, Chef United, Chris Wilder, prove everybody wrong. Uh, and then, John, then, all John wants to do is big Chef United up. Don't waste our air time. Th this oh, is for, to this is, wants, this is for Tommy Frank, who's a massive blade like I am. Oh. Tommy, happy Christmas. Tommy a blade for you. Yeah, oh no, massive oh, United. Yeah. He's, and you know like people jump on bandwagon and say, oh man, you know, Tommy is a proper Chef United yeah. fan. And I am. And I'm a Chris Wilder fan, even yeah. though he's a blade. I love Chris no, Wilder. Today. Although Dennis is a Chef United fan. Right. What do you think at the moment about Come on, the Dillian White situation with you, Cav? It's all a bit, maybe purposely, a, a bit uh, smoke and mirrors. I don't know, it's, it's a bit vague. So I don't really want to comment on that all because, right. uh, I mean, look, if people cheat, it's a sport. If you're going to get a top, I don't know if cheated or not, if Dillian's cheated or not. Uh, but let's just clean, because he's got plenty of ability, Dillian, and I think I think he's got a chance. And I said it before, when he fought Sir Joshua, I thought Dillian had a chance, but I, I said he needed to wait another two or three fights, and I think mm. he'd got a great chance of beating yeah. Joshua. He could I have think, been Ruiz, couldn't he, that night? Couldn't he? Could I think, have, if I he'd think, have took that at Wembley, that fight. I think Dillian has still got the capabilities to trouble Joshua, and I'd like to see that fight again. Russ. Yeah. But as regards getting involved with performance enhancing, if he has or he hasn't, he doesn't need to. So I think yeah. he's got a chance to beat uh, AJ. What do you think about Dillian White uh, fighting Povetkin next? Dillian. Uh, he, obviously, it's not for a belt, it's going to be his fifth pay per view, and he's not been in a European title fight yet or a world title. Well, they're not pay per views, are they? Let's be honest. Oh, no, uh, but he's going to be in a pay per view well, next I don't fight. Think he, I think I, I think people have gone a bit too far. Do you think that Dillian White, it, the criticism he's getting for not suing the WBC over being mandatory for Wilder, he doesn't seem to be pushing for the fight, does he? But why should he when he's getting pay-per-views uh, in fights where he's going to be safe, whereas he's not going to be safe if he fights Wilder, is he? No. So, so he's going to, you know, why keep you stocking have... the money up. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Do, you? do you think that's a good business decision? From a purist, from a business decision, yeah, but from a purist uh, point of view. From a fan's point of from view. From a fan's point of view. Because he keeps not. calling and sending the can man. Anyone who wants it can get it, but this Wilder fight looks farther away than ever now, doesn't it? Oh, is that yeah. for being harsh there, Dennis? Um, no, because I think they should be going for it, because uh, Dillian against Wilder is a great fight. If, if, you, if you were Dillian's manager or promoter, would you be suing WBC now? Yes. Yes? Yes. And screaming blue murder yes. about it? Yes, I Because would. it's now over two years now, isn't it? And yes, I would. I would. And it always, there's always seems to be obstacles in yeah. between him and Wilder happening, yeah, doesn't there? Yeah, I think there's something going on behind the scenes there and... Uh, I mean, Povetkin's nearly 41 now, isn't he? He's 41 next year. Yeah. He'll be nearly 41 when they fire. I mean, how, how, how much can they recycle that? 
I mean, they're even talking about a Chisora trilogy, aren't they? I'm into recycling, yeah, but mine's all metal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't think they could. Um, I don't, it's an hard sell that, and it's definitely not a pay per view for me. But Russell Morris just go for a quick. Who what? Jim Riddle. Jim Riddle. Yeah. All right, well, go on then. I'm gonna go. You're going for the toilet again. Come on then. He's got a weak bladder. He's, he's and your Stan bugger. Smith trainers. Go on. Are you sure you're the same age as me? Yeah. Poor old bugger. Dennis, what do you think about the return of Kel Brook? It happens at your age. We are prostrating you. Dennis, what, what do you think about the return of Kelbrook after 14 months and Dave Allen after uh, uh, seven Dave months? Allen. Dennis got casino. <laughs> no, one more thing. Um, Dave Allen, I, I like Dave Allen. Obviously, you know I've got a soft spot for him, but like uh, I'm just a bit worried about him as regards. I don't know what he's doing training wise. I was training him. He's training at Steffi Balls. I don't know who's training him. Is it his dad? Does he train himself? I think he might be training because, his son. like, he's always been a bit lazy in age, and, and obviously, especially every way, if you don't put it in, you're going you're gonna to be taking more punishment. And Dave is he's not opposed to proving he's a tough man, and I just worry about his health. I'd rather, do you want, a, do you want my honest opinion? Russ, I wish you'd pack in now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a fight here, him and Cash would be a good fight. Yeah. But I don't want Dave getting getting hurt. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying about Cash and about in any fight. I don't want him getting hurt because I don't want him walking around on his heels and he's taking too many shots in some of the fights he's had recently. Yeah. So, mm. and the only way I'd say carry on, Dave, is if he's putting the draft in. And we don't know if he is, do we? I don't know if he is, so. All right. All right then, well, we'll wrap it up then, Dennis. Thanks for uh, another year, another Christmas, another uh, Merry Christmas video. To you and all your Thank family, you very much. All Same to you and your family. And uh, you've done a fantastic job, Russ, and uh, credit to you. Thank you very conference. much. And you're good uh, at what you do. Thank you. You just go over the line sometimes, but yeah. you're a little bit personal, which I don't like. Yeah. But you're very good at what you do. Thank you very much, Dennis. That means a lot to me coming from you. Uh, that's about it then, so give it a shout out to everybody that follows us. So here it is, Merry Christmas. February 21st, Barnes and Metrodome. Yeah. We need tickets, get in touch with you on Twitter, Dennis, yeah, or Josh Whale Metronome, Whale. Metronome. It's a homecoming for Josh Whale, yeah. and it's going to be a fantastic atmosphere. We've got some good kids that we're adding to the show, which I can't reveal yet, but very, very shortly I will do. And the full card will start to be revealed, but Josh is going to be in a meaningful fight, which we're working on. Cash, Cash Alley's going to be on that, the, the future of the heavyweight division, so let's go. Brilliant. Right then, cheers, Dennis. Happy New Year. Happy and New Year. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to Shout you. out to all you boxing fans. Shout out to Innovation Alloys, AJ. Innovation Alloys. And South Yorkshire Love Packaging, you. Kev. Thanks for the present for our little, and we've got some for you. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.